Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this very simple example. So what we have, let us discuss. We have a matrix space X D1. Okay. X is any non-empty set with matrix D1. We have two sequences A N and B N. Both are sequences from same matrix space X. Okay. X D1. X N is defined in this way. Distance between N and B N. So let us discuss what is X N. Suppose this is a matrix space. Okay, so suppose this is a matrix space X D one. Suppose we have a sequence like this A one, A two, A three, and so on. And we have another sequence B one, B two, B three, and so on. So distance between A one and B one that is our X one. Distance between A two and B two that is nothing but X two. Distance between A3 and B3 is X3 and so on. In this way, distance between N and BN is XN. So in this way, new sequence is formed. So that is XN. So we have two important informations. What is the first information that N is Cauchy? This sequence N is Cauchy. Second important information is XN converges to zero. This distance is going to Zero. This is the second important information, and our target is only one thing. That is, B N is a Cauchy sequence. This thing we have to prove. So let us start with the given information. Okay. So let me mention, we have, we have. I will simply highlight the important information. That is, N is Cauchy in X D one. Getting. And the second important information is X n converges to zero in R d u. d u means usual distance. d of x y is equal to mod x minus y. Okay. What we have to prove to prove that B n is Cauchy. So obviously, I am going to use the definition of Cauchy sequence to solve this example. So you are familiar with that. Uh, in definition of Cauchy sequence, we have epsilon. So let us take one epsilon. Let epsilon greater than zero be given. So right now we have two information that n is Cauchy and x n converges to zero. This is second information. So let us use that information one by one. We have a n is Cauchy. So the definition of Cauchy sequence says for given epsilon greater than zero. But see epsilon already we have. So let me mention therefore for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number n such that such that see it is Cauchy in matrix space X D one. So that's why I should write D one A N A M. Less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital n. So by using definition of Cauchy sequence, I got this one. But see a small adjustment I am going to do. That is instead of epsilon, I am going to write epsilon by three. It's a part of adjustment. Epsilon means what? Very small positive real number. Epsilon by three has the same meaning. So that's why we can easily replace it just for adjustment. Important thing. So that's why I am calling it as one. We have another thing. X n converges to zero. Let me mention. Also, we have. Also, we have. X n converges to zero. Where? In R D U usual matrix. Okay, so we should keep in uh, mind while writing the solution. Let me remove this part now. Okay. So here we have a convergent sequence, right? So let us use the definition of convergent sequence. Epsilon is required, obviously. So the same epsilon I will use, which we have already taken. So therefore, for above epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number. But see, natural number already we have got, right? So let us call it as n one, and that will be n two. Such that mod. I should write mod since we have a usual matrix. Okay, we cannot write d. It's a mod. It's a definition of d is mod. Mod x n converges to zero. That means x n minus zero less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n two. Right? Okay. See. Uh, I'm going to do adjustment again. Instead of epsilon, I will write epsilon by three. Same type of adjustment there. Let us simplify. Okay. Uh, x n minus zero is Xn less than epsilon by three. 
uh, xn means what xn means yes xn means this distance right so let us put its value here mod d of a n b n less than epsilon by 3 obviously i should carry this condition right n2 for all n greater than or equal to n2 and so on but see distance cannot be negative so no need to apply mod if you apply mod you will get the same value so that's why directly i can write d of a n b n less than epsilon by 3 for all n greater than or equal to n2 this is 2 okay therefore i should write yes uh, see the problem is that statement 1 is true for n1 that means all n and m any natural numbers you can take those should be greater than or equal to n1 then this is true 2 is true for all natural numbers greater than or equal to n2 but see we have to use both statements both inequalities simultaneously right so we should have some common condition so that's why i'm taking let let i will take n is equal to maximum maximum of n1 and n2 then 1 and 2 will be true for this n so therefore 1 and 2 will be true for this n okay so yes we have used the given information completely now our focus is on this thing we have to prove bn is a cauchy in x d1 okay so there is no more space to write just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us continue see i have purposely kept this inequality here so we are going to use it now okay so we can easily see and you can see how we can use it so what we have to prove we have to prove that bn is a cauchy sequence that means d of bn bm less than epsilon this thing we have to prove so let us consider this thing consider d of bn bm so now I'm going to use triangle inequality. Okay, so yes, we are going to extend that inequality. So what we have BN, BM. I'm going to consider two more points, N and M. So distance between BN and BM is less than or equal to distance between this one, distance between this one, and distance between this one, okay? So yes, we can write this is less than or equal to, this distance is less than or equal to uh, see d1 we have so I should mention d1 here right here also we should mention d1 everywhere okay so d1 of what b n a n right distance between these two plus d1 of a n a m plus d1 of a m b m am I right yes so yes using tri triangle inequality I got this one let me remove this part so you can easily interchange no distance between bn and n is same as distance between n and bn so yes so this is equal to d1 of a n b n plus d1 of a n m right plus d1 of a m b m so d1 of a n b n we have seen it somewhere yes here its value is less than epsilon by th 3 what about this d of n m yes its value is also less than epsilon by 3 so that's why purposely i had kept this inequality here you can easily see yes we can apply here d1 of n b m getting so we have we have n b n here and here a m b m doesn't matter getting doesn't matter that n is greater than or equal to n2 then this is true similarly if our m if our m greater than or equal to n2 that means here n so this one will also will be true for that m also so here also i can write epsilon by 3 simply i should mention for all n m greater than or equal to capital n okay so that condition should be maintained then we can easily use this inequality yes epsilon by 3 plus epsilon by 3 plus epsilon by 3 3 epsilon by 3 which is epsilon right so therefore what we can write here at the end d1 of b and bm less than strictly less than epsilon with this condition so this is definition of cauchy sequence right so this is cauchy so therefore we can declare therefore bn is cauchy where bn is cauchy in r d sorry it's x d1 in x d1 we have a metric 
d1 so that's why i should write the same in this way we have proved bn is cauchy sequence in matrix space x d1 so the solution is over here make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video